So I spoke about time management in my time management one video, but this is a topic that absolutely deserves a part two. Now time management is something that is absolutely critical to our success, whether it's in our company, with our family, or just in life. So we wanna make sure that we are taking control of our time. Make sure you watch the first video because this is the one that's really going to help you take all of these things that you need to get accomplished throughout your day, your month, your year, and really help you prioritize each of those things into your daily to-do list. But I want to continue the discussion today with regard to the things that we need to accomplish. Now that you have this entire list of things that must get done or should get done or you'd like to get done, how do you find the time to do it? Well, I'm going to help you pull out some more of that time, add it back into your day. You do this by asking yourself some very important questions. And one of those questions is, is this something that I need to be doing? Or is there someone else in my life, in my world, that is better suited to this task? And that's a very difficult thing to do. I mean, wouldn't it be great if we could all have a personal assistant and a personal chef and um, someone that could do all these things for us, but most of us don't have that luxury. But that doesn't mean you can't find that help and be okay with asking for it. And that might be at your job or it might be at home. It might be simply asking your kids to pick up after themselves so that you're not doing that at the end of the day. Don't just ask them, make that an expectation and you can actually make it fun, especially if they're younger. Now, if they're already teenagers, you might need to kind of talk them into it a little bit, but also in work. One of the issues that I faced early on with my company and as an entrepreneur was that I wanted to do everything. And when you start out as an entrepreneur, you have to do everything. You are the marketing team and the IT department and, and the salesman, you do it all. And as we grew, I still felt like I needed to do it all and I began micromanaging. And that can very quickly turn into basically 23 hours of day of work and not spending your time doing anything really well. What I had to learn was I needed to trust my team. I am blessed with an amazing team that is really good at what they do. I needed to take a step back and let them do what they do. And we ended up with a better work product because of it. Be okay with delegating some of these tasks that maybe aren't your cup of tea. So the big lesson here is don't try to be everything to everyone. Focus on what you do best and don't be afraid to seek out help for the rest. Whether it's coordinating a carpool or working on a multi-million dollar deal. Understand your strengths, but also make sure you know your weaknesses. So I challenge you to go through those lists that you made after watching the Time Management One video and seek out those areas where you can delegate, where you can get help from someone else and then find out what areas you do best and focus on them. So get to it. Thanks so much for checking out my channel. And of course, you can watch more video below. And if you enjoyed what you learned, make sure to share with all of your friends on social media. And as always, I would love for you to subscribe to this channel to make sure that you have all of our latest content. Till next time, take today and make it happen.